Hello, it's Rebecca here. Recently I've done a couple of videos, one about inks I did I used most in 2022 and another about the pens I used most in 2022. And while I was pulling statistics for those, I was able to pull statistics for my entire uh, hobby, fountain pen hobby usage until now. So I thought that might be interesting too. So I've made some notes and we will first look at the pens and then at the inks. Inks is going to take a little longer because I brought them up to swatch them. So the top four pens that I have used the most are my Wonder Pens, Franklin Kristoff um, exclusive. So it's a pen by Franklin Kristoff that was sold through Wonder Pens. And then I went to Franklin Kristoff and got a special nib for it. The nib is an 18 karat gold medium Mike Masayama stub. It is my favorite nib hands down in of all my nibs and one thing I know about myself is that the nib means more than the pen the nib means more than the ink the writing experience caused by where the nib meets the paper is the most important part of this hobby for me so this pen is an eyedropper pen you can use a cartridge a short cartridge international short but I eyedropper this pen well, I syringe fill this pen anyways, and I have used it 13 times in the last six years. Next up is my Franklin Kristoff Wonder Pens Exclusive Model 20. I also use this as an eyedropper pen, although it does fit a cartridge. I don't use a cartridge. I like to see the ink sloshing around inside. This one currently has a 14 karat gold medium SIG nib, and this is a Jim Rouse SIG. And I've used this pen 10 times in the past six years. Then there's my Platinum 3776. Century in tortoiseshell celluloid. This has a 14 karat gold medium that I recently had made into a stub by Jack Hernandez. I'm not getting as good a lighting today. Let me just see if I can improve that a bit by angling the light so it glares at me. That's better. Uh, I love this celluloid, love this pen. It doesn't work as well as it used to because I broke the uh, feed. The feed has been repaired, but it will never be the same. It uh, now needs to be syringe filled. It no longer sucks up ink when you try and fill it. It just doesn't work. And the nib is inconsistent after every time it hasn't written for a couple of days, it needs to be primed. Actually, it needs to be primed every time I write with it. So then it writes super wet when I first prime it, and then it slowly dries out, and then I have to prime it again. So I ruined the feed on this, even though it was repaired. It's it's still ruined. Um, but I'm living with it because I love this pen. I just won't use it as much. Anyway, I used it 10 times in the last six years. And then my Lamy 2000 that originally came with a 14 karat medium nib that I sent away to Mark Bacchus and had made into an architect nib. It's got a little bit of ink on here. Some water will take that off. So that is a medium architect. I think you can see that there. Um, piston filler simple Lamy 2000. I used that seven times in the last six years. That's the most used pens. 
Now let's go to the most used inks. I just have to change my notes. By brand, I mostly used Robert Oster inks. I used Robert Oster inks 40 times in the last six years. That's a lot, that's a lot of Robert Oster ink. 40 times. Uh, 24 times I used Diamine. Uh, 16 times I used Colorverse. 15 times I've used Urban. 14 times I've used Sailor Gentle. Those of you who were in the habit, uh, in the fountain pen and ink hobby when I started back in 2016, 2017, will know about Sailor Gentle. But that line has since been, um, well, it's a deadline. They, they canceled it. And a lot of the better inks from the Sailor Gentle line are now under the Sailor Shikiori line, but not all of them. So Sailor Gentle I used 14 times and Sailor Ink Studio I used 12 times. And then for 10 times over the past six years, I've used Califolio, Ferris Wheel Press and Kayo no Oto. When it comes to individual ink color, uh, inks I used four times in the last six years include Ooh, I dropped some. J. Urban Rue Donker. Rue Donk. Colorverse. Come on. Colorverse Matter. Which is or was my favorite gray until it was recently surpassed. desk. What's next? Kayo no Otu number seven, Hisoku. Made a mess on my book. This is so far, they're pretty much unsaturated or undersaturated inks that look fantastic, uh, give fantastic shading. Okay, and then what is next? Another Urban ink, Tropical Coral. This one is brighter, not so much of a shader. I'm still on the search for the perfect coral ink. Still haven't found it. This one is not it, but it is as close as I have come yet, as of yet. I have a lot of coral-ish inks that are either too pink or too red or way too orange. They're coral-ish. This is a little too orange. The tropical coral. Come on, buddy. Oh, this is on tight. There we go. Ah. There is sheen in that cap. That's why it didn't want to come off. Next up is Red Dragon. Again, used four times in the last six years. I have an awful lot of ink, like I have 170 some bottles of ink, so I don't use a lot of repeats. So four times over six years is actually quite a bit, but that's Diamine Red Dragon. Next up, also used four times, is Califolio Sepia. Now, it appears to have some sort of fine grit in it. So maybe the dye is coming out of it. And 
is the final one that I used four times is Pilot Oroshizuku Ainaho. Now this is a five, uh, four times since I started keeping records in 2017. I used this a lot in 2016. So this is the lowest level on a bottle that I have. So that's Pilot Oroshizuku Ainaho. I'm not doing going to write with any of these because it would take too long to write out a sample and then clean my clean my dip pen in between. This is just meant to show you a brief idea of the color. So we're not getting in depth here. Uh, next up is two inks that I used five times. They are both Robert Oster inks and they are Khaki and Viola. So let's do Viola first because it's closest to me. Used this one five times. That's one of my favorites. Actually, the th three inks I use the most are my favorite inks. So that's Robert Oster Viola, and this is Robert Oster Khaki, another favorite. And as Viola dries, you'll see blue and purple and pink in it. It's very interesting chromo shading ink from before we knew the term chromo shading. And if you know anything about my channel, you know what my number one ink is, and that is Colorverse C Europa. This is my favorite ink, and it is my most used ink. And I have used it eight times in six years. Now, some of those times it was inked multiple times. I only count inking once when it goes into a pen first. It goes into my spreadsheet as a pen and ink, a pen that got inked. But if I fill the pen with the same ink without cleaning in between, like same pen, same ink, just a separate fill, I don't enter that into my spreadsheet. So this one, Colorverse Europa, has had numerous occasions when I have re-inked the same pen. So eight times is kind of an undersell on the number of times it's been used in six years. So here we are. You can see I kind of have a happy place with these light, dusty red pinks. That's um, Urban Rudonk, and that's Colorverse Europa. Uh, my red, I like a dark, rich red. I love muddy brown greens. Inaho and Kaki. Um, Robert Oster Kaki is a really nice one that I often put in this pen, in my Platinum 3776 tortoise. They just go really well together. Uh, Viola is one I put into my Lamy 2000. I've put that in there a few times. Also Red Dragon. Hisoku, this guy here, because it's a lighter dusty, unsaturated blue has gone in my Model 45 with the 18 karat medium stub nib because it's a very wet, very generous nib. And it lays down the ink for some beautiful shading. So you can see the chromo shading. Here, let's bring that close to the camera. in the viola and some darkness around the edges of the khaki 
And C Europa is just C Europa, but it's so pretty. It's such a nice shader. Matter is still drying and it's a gorgeous gray. Red Dragon is still drying, as are Inaho and Sepia. Is it Sepia? Yes. Califolio Sepia is this one here. It has, for some reason, a little bit of fleck of blue. It might be from off the end of the pen. Um, I'm not sure why there's blue there. Right there. It doesn't come from the sepia, I know that. So some sort of interference got in here. Anyway, that's the um, inks, the most used inks and the most used pens in my collection. Let's put those two, but that one doesn't have a roll stop. So we'll put the roll stop one in between two other pens. Um, the pens that are Wonder Pens exclusive, they are currently redoing the Model 20 and the Model 20P, which is the pocket version of the Model 20. So you can actually get these right now through Wonder Pens um, they have the Franklin Christoph exclusives in stock again, or recently had them and will have them again. I don't know if they're going to do the Model 45s again or not. I love them because they're this perfect soft gray. It's a neutral gray. It's not a warm gray or a cool gray. It's a true neutral. And it just lets me put any color of ink in here. I like that very much. There's just something about this color that draws me to it. For someone who started this hobby not liking gray at all, I've certainly changed my tune. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me. And I hope that maybe this video inspired you to keep a spreadsheet or keep a record of what are your most often used pens and inks, or just every time you ink up a pen, keep it written down somewhere so that you can look back and find out what are your favorites. They may actually be your favorite pens, but this one, I didn't really think this was in my favorite pens, but it's in my top four most used. So it must be a favorite. I didn't realize that. I just keep reaching for it. So yeah, thank you very much. Have a great Christmas. Bye-bye.